Compound clips within Final Cut Pro are awesome. It allows you to take a whole project and zip it up into one little easy to understand film strip. Let me show you how it works. A compound clip combines one or more clips into a group, which not only keeps your timeline organized, but also allows you to edit the entire group like a single clip. To create a compound clip with clips from the browser, navigate to the browser and select one or more clips. Next, hold control and click on one of the selected clips. In the menu, choose New Compound Clip or use the shortcut Option G. This window will pop up, and you'll notice it looks very similar to the Project Settings window. This is because a compound clip acts like an independent mini project. So if you want to change the settings specifically for the compound, now is the perfect time. If you want to learn more about changing project settings, check out our tutorial linked in the description below. Once finished, select OK. The compound appears in the browser as a new video clip that we can now add to any of our projects. As you can see, it's easy to create a compound clip, but more often than not, you'll be creating them in the timeline rather than the browser. So let's show you how to do it in the timeline. In the project timeline, select one or more clips. Then hold control and click on the selection and choose new compound clip or use the same shortcut, option G. As you can see, instead of the full settings window, we'll get this miniature version just for the name and the event to store it in. This is because our clips are already placed inside the project, so the clip settings will match those of the project. We'll give the compound a name and hit OK. Once created, the compound will replace the clips that it now contains, and the compound clip will also appear as a new clip in the event browser. Did you hear that? That's the sound of learning. If needed, we can create an empty compound clip in case we want to add clips into the compound later on. First, select an event to store the compound clip. Then, navigate to the top menu and choose File, New, and Compound Clip. The Compound Settings window will appear. Make any necessary changes and select OK. The new empty compound clip will appear in the event browser. To add clips to it, we'll need to open it by double-clicking directly on its thumbnail in the browser. The empty compound clip will open in the timeline, just like any project. We can tell we're inside the compound clip because the timeline header will display the name of our compound clip. Now we can drag clips from the browser into the compound clip and any edits we create will be stored inside the compound. Once finished, we can click on this timeline history arrow to return to the project timeline. If you ever need to break a compound clip into individual clips, that's easy to do. Simply select the compound in your timeline. Then, navigate to the top menu and choose Clip and Break Apart Clip Items. Or use the shortcut Shift-Command-G. The compound clip will be replaced by the individual clips that it contained. And there you have it, Final Cut Pro tutorials for free from Pixel Film Studios. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll keep going with these. Till next time. Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level.